I think I think you have to help a f fellow female in distress. <laughs> um, yeah. I yeah. think it depends on it depends on how aggressive exactly. like he's being to her. But you might want to sort of stand behind him so that he can't see whatever and mouth to her like, "Are you okay?" Or go and find help from somewhere else. Okay. I definitely yeah. stop. I'm not sure I'd intervene because he could start on me as well. I probably get so, like, yeah. So get, you have to think about someone. your own safety as well, don't you? Because yeah. that's yeah. paramount. Really. But talk to someone. There's also security around here. Yeah, so. get yeah. security. Yeah, yeah there's people everywhere. Out. Have you have you seen anything like that? Has it ever happened to you? You've seen anything like that? Yeah, you do occasionally see like yeah. people on the streets like doing things like that. You do. But it also what? depends what they're talking about. Like if they're talking about something stupid, like that's just sort of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you it's like a like serious a situation, and he really, it's something that's really serious, and you think that maybe she is sort of really at okay. threat. Well, forget the subject they're talking about. He's just, he's effing and blind, and he's screaming and shouting. It could be her fault. I mean, she could have started the row, but it doesn't matter, really matter because she's really upset. Yeah. I mean, th 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 that's the main point. She's really upset. Would you intervene? Would, I don't. I don't do you think this? you should like physically go up and like, you know, like split them up, or whatever. I think you should like maybe like s like stand around and like wait to see what happens yeah. and if it gets like really serious like obviously yeah. go and like and talk to someone and if they see someone's watching they might feel like awkward and sort of Good stop yeah, yeah, exactly. like if he, if he sees lots of people coming around and looking and like staring then he might feel like really uncomfortable yeah, you should make it obvious that he knows you're there that someone knows you know I told, we've interviewed people today and no one's actually said that but it's a really good point and i think and that, that's a bit of a deterrent as well people you might feel kind of embarrassed now yeah, exactly. also if you're in a group then i think if you're in a group then you wouldn't actually feel as bad like going up and actually like taking her away from him if you're on your own then yeah. like you wouldn't want to do that but if you're in a group like if all of us saw someone like there then we probably would go up and be like what are you Maybe doing parties. like yeah, you've got to kind of put yourself <laughs> in her situation and think what would you want other people to do if they were walking past? Like, would you want people to stop? And you would. So, so, so uh, bottom line is that you wouldn't just walk on by. You either get no. some help. You yeah. either, like you said, or one of you guys said, you, you kind of mouth, you know, uh, to a UK. Do you need any help, kind of thing? But you wouldn't just leave her yeah. alone. No, 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 definitely not. not. Yeah. And, and obviously, well, would you kind of hope that if that you're in that situation, someone will come to you or kind yeah. of help? Them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Were you guys from what school again? Yeah, I'm from high school. school. Well, go and say hello to your headmistress and all. Hello. Hi, Mr. Rosen. Rosen. Hi, Rosen. <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much. Thanks, and, uh, Barney's banter. Thank you very Woo! much. Barney's banter. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Ah, Ellsbury High School. I've just managed to grab Matt, who's just going to work in... Um, it's Goldsmiths. Goals and that's the jewellery just... Uh, it is indeed, yeah. Just, just uh, over the other side of the road. Just over yonder. Matt, so um, the question I'm asking is about intervention. If you saw a situation where you felt uncomfortable, you thought, hang on, this ain't right, the, it doesn't add up, you know, would you intervene or what, what would you do? Obviously, my, like, my head and my heart will tell me different things. Obviously, I'm not the biggest of guys, so um, kind of I want to get involved. But it's, again, you don't know what people are carrying at the end of the day. Okay, if they're so carrying knives or... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've got, you've got to worry about bit, your own safety. Yeah, it seems a bit selfish to kind of just think about yourself at the end of the day is kind of it's reality isn't it yeah absolutely absolutely so th there's, a, there's a guy who's having to go to his girlfriend now and she's really upset now and you're thinking well, well that's you know. a different story I'd probably what, what would you do then I'd probably intervene and say come you on would? Yeah. yeah if she was getting a bit heated yeah yeah okay so but you wouldn't sit on the fence in you wouldn't just think oh it's none of my business it depends how it looked if it was too heated if it's becoming a bit violent or something like that then maybe I'd intervene but yeah you would yeah. Caroline mine I'm Barney. How are you doing? I'm all right. Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm well, thank <laughs> you. Listen, I want, I want to talk to you about, about intervention, about if, Carol, if you saw a situation where there was a guy who's having to go to his girlfriend, or a female, you don't know who she is, and she's really upset, she, she's bawling her eyes out, and she's looking about herself, you know, perhaps she wants some help, what would you do, would you? I would go and comfort her, firstly, and then if he got really, like, agitated towards her, I'd just ask what his problem was, and if he told me and she was still upset, I'd take him away from the situation, and then if it all escalated, I'd try and help as much as I can, but if she's upset, you'd try and get her away from the situation, because yeah, sure. if he's shouting at her, you want to get her away, and that's what I'll do. Being a female myself, yeah, so I know I've been in that situation before. I just want someone to take me away from it. Have you been in a situation where someone's had a go at you? And, and is, that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I've been in that situation a few times. Like if I'm out with my friends, and because I'm quite an emotional person, I've cried a few times, and I've seen people from the public come up to me and ask if I'm right, and they've took me away. So, do you know what I mean? Were, were you kind of grateful for that? Did you want someone to kind of? Yeah, interview? because if they wouldn't have like been grateful, then I probably got myself like into a fight or something. So yeah. they saved. Me basically, yeah. so 
So you, you wouldn't sit on the fence, you, you keep, you know, you definitely do something about it. I'd definitely do something about it because if I was that girl, because I've been in that position before, I wouldn't like it. Yeah, yeah. And people, me being helpful as well, I'd do the same. Martin, <laughs> how about this one here for you? There's three or four blokes here, and they all come up here, this, we don't want to miss you. There's three or four guys, that, that, and they're going to pop out another bloke, I mean, really physically get stuck in there. Yeah. yeah, what would you do then? Would you think, oh, I don't know, you know, can I handle this? What would you do? I would shout over to them first, like saying, what's going on and that sort of thing if they don't listen just like go over and like try and stop the lads but well there's nothing else you can really do really yeah i mean don't you i mean that situation wouldn't you worry about your own kind of safety as well, well yeah i'd be worried about my own safety in that but i've been i've done it so i look out for other people as well like you know what i mean so yeah. Guys, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. The question I'm going to ask you, like, if you saw a situation where there was perhaps a girl who was very distraught, she's in tears, very unhappy, because there's, there's a guy next to her who's having a go at her, and he's, he's given her some real serious problems, what would you do? What would you do, Asta? Me? What would you do? Try right? it, mate. Have Mark on it. No, no, I, I'll, I'll try to stop things. You would? Yeah. Uh, what, what, as in what, intervene? Talk, tell, to see what's going on by talking to them before I sing. That's what I'd do personally. Let's talk. No, no. Cool. What would you do, my friend? <laughs> you swing, yeah? you I'd swing. Yeah, I'd probably well. fight back. I'd fight for the girl, probably. Yeah. So you I'd intervene. In. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, you got fight for girls and things, innit? Definitely. Well, and and you girls are girls. So yeah. w what would you do? You know, um, I'd, to your first. I'd go see if the girl was okay. Yeah, I wouldn't get involved in an argument. No, no. I couldn't because they're men and they'd probably beat me too. <laughs> yeah. If he was having a go at her, then he's gonna have a go at us as well. Yeah. But I'd make sure she was okay. Okay, but so we'll try and get help. Yeah, right. Try and get help. Yeah. So you wouldn't just walk on by. You can't. If Make you can't sure help okay. it yourself physically, you go and get, go and yeah. get help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, yeah, I've got one for you, right? You've got yeah. three or four guys who's pounding one, one other guy, yeah? so they're outnumbered, yeah? So you've got three or four guys, I'm going to go at one guy. What would you do then? Definitely get what would involved. You do? Definitely if it's my friend, mate. definitely. Yeah, you yeah, ain't your friend. He's a stranger. stranger. I'll help him out. Still, still like, help him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll still I'll help him out, man. Yeah. You get stuck in. Yeah, I'll jump in. Yeah, I'd separate the situation. Please stiff in the face, mate. Okay, but, but, but <laughs> about your own safety? Don't you worry about your own safety? Nah, oh, it's, not, it's not about being safe, we, isn't it? We need that ration, you know, teaching them about your safety, you're taking all people first, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, now, guy, nowadays, a lot of people carry weapons and, yeah, knives but, and things like that. Don't you worry about that? Yeah, but then if you don't get involved and you walk past and you leave that, that person, person to get beat down, bad, it, really? then you, you could think if he, if he gets stabbed and he dies, you could be thinking, ah. Oh, I could have done something yeah, to stop yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, you say you, you get involved, then it's more of an equal chance for the other guy as well because there's there's not just him on his own now more. There's two of you, v either two or three. So, so it's you guys got number. hearts, man. I'm telling you, you yeah, guys got course, hearts, that's man. The and that's balls, the the big corners, um, yeah, the sights, yeah. And and you, you want that happen to you as well. I mean, like if you're in that situation, when you want someone to kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Part of a bitch, really. So I see things, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much all for your comments. I appreciate it. All the best, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it, really? A lot of people will actually physically get involved to stop a situation. A lot of us will actually make the phone call, go and seek help. It's nice to know that no, none of us will actually sit on the fence or walk on by. I want to find out what the police will suggest, Thames Valley Police. This time of year, they're all very, very busy, but they did leave me a statement, and basically what they suggested that we do was to call 999, pick up the phone. They say they're the professionals, they're getting paid to do the job, let them do it. And I think they're really kind of thinking of our own, for ourselves not to get in any danger that they're necessary, which I suppose is good advice. The question you're asking yourselves, what would Barney do? That is a very very good one what would I do couldn't answer you. I really honestly couldn't answer you. I tried asking my question several times myself and I think it depends on the situation where I am who's around me I've got way up the odds but I would really like to hope and think that I would actually intervene get involved and um, to prevent something like that happening because it shouldn't happen at all um, tell me what you think Leave your comments on, on the website, barneysbanter.co.uk. I'll be very, very interested to find out what your thoughts are. And if you've got any topics that you want us to cover and film, I'll be more than happy to do so. In the meantime, I'm Barney. This is Barney's Banter. We wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Be safe. <laughs>